first loads, you'll see the entire state of California, covered in colorful squares. These squares represent groups of census tracts. To make sense of what you're seeing, take a look at the box in the upper right-hand corner, here. The first item tells you what you're viewing, in this case, the California Healthy Places Index. Just below the title is a button that indicates what geography you're viewing. Right now, we're looking at census tracts. Below that is the legend, indicating what score percentile each color on the map corresponds with. As noted before, areas of dark and light blue indicate fewer healthy community conditions, where areas of light and dark green represent places with more healthy community conditions. This box and the legend will change as we interact with the map. If you're ever not quite sure about what's shown on the screen, simply return here to be reminded. Now, let's take a look at a specific census tract and learn more about its community conditions. We'll jump to Santa Ana in Orange County. When you select a tract, this details panel on the left will open. The first item is the HPI score, followed by a visualization of where this score falls within the four quartiles, from least healthy conditions to most healthy conditions. There is also an interpretation sentence to help you make sense of the score. We've also included some general information about the tract, including what zip code it falls in, as well as the population that lives here. Below that are eight policy action areas, with many versions of the score visualizations indicating the percentile rank. We can also drill down in each policy action area. Let's take a look at education, for example. When you click this arrow, more information is revealed, including an interpretation sentence, plus a list of every indicator contained within this policy action area and their percentile rank. Immediately, you can begin to see the nuance that the Healthy Places Index affords. While the overall score in this tract may indicate fewer healthy conditions, it's not uniform. There are indicators, such as high school and preschool enrollment, that this community is doing really well on. You are quickly able to identify the positive assets in a neighborhood as well as those conditions in need of improvement, the health opportunities of this community. If you see an indicator of interest, such as bachelor's education or higher, you can click this arrow to get more information. As with the overall HPI score, you'll get a visualization and interpretation of this indicator's percentile rank in this census tract, as well as a host of specific details about this indicator, including a straightforward definition, the indicator's value, and here, how this indicator connects to health. This connection to health text provides important context in simple language about the linkage between this indicator and health outcomes. Our goal with the Healthy Places Index is to make it easy to take data and turn it into action, giving you the tools to improve your community's health. That's where this section, Policy Actions to Address This Indicator, comes in. For each of the Healthy Places Index indicators, we've provided detailed policy guides that offer specific, actionable, and relevant policy solutions. When you click on any of these links, you are redirected to our website, dropped into the section of the full policy guide that corresponds with this heading. For each policy, we provide a short description, examples of the policy in action, and links to reputable resources for detailed guidance on implementation, toolkits, templates, and in some cases, funding opportunities. While we're here, let's hover over one of these little icons. These are our benefit buttons, flagging that this policy has extra benefits, in this case, economic, but there are also a host of other icons, including those for policies that benefit equity, the environment, quality of life, and many more. We're excited to offer this detailed complementary suite of policy solutions alongside the wealth of data in the HPI. Returning to the map, you'll see that below the policy actions, we provide detailed information about this indicator, including the technical definition, as well as the data source and year. 
You can return to the Policy Action area in Overall HPI Score by clicking the Back button here. You can also return to the Full Map view by clicking the X here. Finally, let's zoom back out to the state level by clicking this icon here.